to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 314. And before I get started with what I've been working on, I'll give you a quick health update. You can see my walker right over here. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel or have not been aware of what's going on, I had knee replacement done. Well, I'm filming this Friday afternoon. I came home from the hospital exactly one week ago. So um, I had the surgery on the 2nd and I am filming this on the 10th. So I'm the eighth, eight days out from knee surgery. I'm doing pretty good. I am up and walking around. Um, yes, I am still in pain. Um, I'm still living on painkillers and Tylenol and all that kind of thing, but I'm not as loopy as I was earlier this week. Um, I have gone to the torture chamber three times, also known as physical therapy. Uh, but they are, I know they're doing this for my own good, but um, it's not pleasant, but they've got me um, moving and bending the the knee. Uh, so, so far, so good. They said I'm progressing well. Um, yeah, I'm getting back to normal. So, yeah, that's the update with how I'm doing. I do appreciate all the thoughts and prayers you guys um sent out for me and appreciate all the well wishing that you all have sent me messages and emails and comments it really does mean a lot so thank you so much for all of your support that way it was encouraging and i feel very loved by you guys so thanks so much um yoka i have been wearing your shawl this is this is a shawl that i made from the yarn that i exchanged with yoka um she has a youtube channel i will put the link down below if you want to go check it out uh, but she and I exchanged yarn for a yarn advent calendar, not this past year, but the year before, and I made it into the a gigantic shawl. Because I have to ice my leg like every 20 minutes or so, I mean, great big ice pack, I'm freezing most of the time. I've been wearing this like all week long. I just put it on while the ice pack's on there and I'm turning into a giant popsicle and I just put this on and it keeps me toasty. So it's been getting lots and lots of views. So let's get started with my first project. This is the Yakima scarf. I'm bringing everything along with me here. I've gotten quite a ways on this. In fact, I'm coming down the home stretch with it. This is what I have left of the yarn. And at the very end of this, I have to make sure I stop the cables enough to get this little two inch ribbing done it's a total of 16 rows so that's the equivalent of two repeats of these cables so here is how long it is right now and this has of course not been blocked because it is still on the needles even when i finish it it's going to have to not get blocked for a while because my blocking stuff is upstairs and i can't climb stairs yet i probably could but we're not going to do that so uh here it is I also am trying new lighting out, so if you notice, I don't have the big bright spot on top of my head. Um, I can make it brighter. I actually have it on the dimmest setting right now, but I think it will be handy. What they are, just to show you real quick, it's this one's not charged, but this is a ring light. It lights up all the way around here, and it has different um, different dimnesses, and then it also clips. So you can clip it to your phone. I actually have it clipped to the top of my camera and I have two of these. So I think when I do tutorials and things, I can really light it up well. So um, back to what I was showing you. So we have it all the way across here, all the way to here. I have so far uh, 38 of the cable repeats that I have done. It calls for, I. it's 40 something. I have to look at the pattern, see how many. I'm just gonna keep going until I run out. Um, like I said, I need to make sure I save enough yarn of this to do the two inch ribbing on the other side. But this is going to feel so good on because it is uh, Yakima Yarns by Plymouth uh, Yarn Company. It is Yak and I believe it was Merino. So yes, it's very soft. It will be open more, like I said, once I once I can get it blocked. So, uh, yeah, it's very, very soft. And a big thank you to Christy of Creatively Altered Yarn Shop for sending me that yarn to, and the pattern, to uh, test knit, to review. Um, I'm really enjoying it. 
And if you like this pattern, it is a free pattern. It is by Plymouth Yarns. It's just called Yakima Scarf, or Yakima Cabled Scarf. But Tina Hairston pointed out to me, they also have another pattern. It's very similar to this, but it is for a cowl, and it's a big deep cowl. So it's the same cables, but it's running vertically this way instead of this way. Um, so that is also a free pattern that I am going to be using in the very near future. Well, this summer, hopefully. So that is project number one. Project number two is, let me show you what this pattern is. It's crocheted. Here is the pattern. It is called the Sierra Swancho. It's by I Like Crochet. It is a free pattern and it is advanced, which would explain why it's a struggle for me. Um, I am doing some modifications to it because it calls for, I believe, a six millimeter hook and I am using a five millimeter hook. But I also upped the size. My coworker made this and she said it ran big. So I upped the size, but went down a needle, uh, down a hook size. So here's what it looks like so far. There you can see it. That little red marker here just marks the front for me. It has uh, bust increases. And then you can see the point here at the bottom. And then it gets a real pretty, um, like an expanded shell stitch that goes, kind of flares out at the bottom. And I have separated for the sleeves. There they are. Now I did modify this a little bit in that the size it had me separating from the for the sleeves, I was afraid was going to be a little too tight because of the back wings, but we won't talk about that. Um, so I just, I did make it about an inch longer. So at this point, I'm kind of uh, making this up based on the picture and what I'm going for. So, but I'm real happy with it. And it, it is an oversized, loose type of, uh, cut. I, I would call it a coverlet type of um poncho because you can obviously see through this. You're going to wear something underneath. The yarn I am using this for is Barocco and this was actually given to me by my supervisor. I'm covering up the price because it's not accurate anymore. It's, Bar it's Barocco Ultra Alpaca and the color number is 6201 which is their winter white. Now it is, uh, what is the percentage on this? I think it's a 50-50, somewhere in here. It's, where do I see this? It's 50%, it's made in Peru. It's 50%, here it is, 50% alpaca, 50% wool. It is extremely soft. They still sell the ultra alpaca, but I did not see that Barocco as a company itself sells this color anymore. However, I found two, because I know I'm going to need more. This is my last skein. Uh, so I bought two more of the same color number on eBay. So it should be arriving shortly. Now I am saving this skein of yarn until it comes in because guaranteed it's not going to be the same dye lot. So in case it's a slightly different color, I'm going to use this one to kind of blend back and forth so it's not as noticeable in case the colors don't quite match up because dye lots depending on the yarn can affect it drastically. So we shall, we shall see what happens with that. So that's what I have been working on this last two weeks. What have you been working on? items into the show and tell you can do so over on my Facebook page which is Katrina Knits. 
um, or you can post it, you can send me a message over there as well, or you can send all the information to Katrina's Creations at yahoo.com and you can tell me a little bit about the pattern and your yarn and whatever you want to tell me and post pictures there and I will see that they get into the show and tell section. So what am I reading? I've been doing a lot of reading. I The last time I chatted with you, I was reading Aunt Dimity's, it's a new series that I just discovered, uh, Aunt Dimity's Death, which was Aunt Dimity is a ghost that lives in an English cottage in the Cotswolds and her American um, goddaughter had inherited the, the cottage and so she lives there and it tells the story of about a little bit about Aunt Dimity before she died and a little bit after she died and you kind of get to meet the character. So I did finish that book. Now in the last time I did a review, because the very first one I read was Aunt Dimity and the Buried Treasure, um, I had said there was no language in there. Just a little disclaimer, in the first book, one of the characters, thankfully it's not a major character, it's, it's a minor character that's in there for about four pages, did use some language. So just a little heads up for that, but thankfully it was a minor character, so I was able to skip those couple of pages and it was fine from there. But just to make you aware of it. Um, but anyway, um, I am I'm finished reading Aunt Dimity's Death. I'm now listening to Aunt Dimity and the Wishing Well, which is hysterical because everybody, they just, the, the village has discovered this wishing well that was kind of buried in somebody's garden and nobody knew it was there. It was all overgrown. So now all of the villagers have been sn making sneaky, mysterious little night trips to the wishing well to make wishes. And those wishes are suspiciously coming true, but they think there's somebody helping out those wishes a little bit, except that the wishes keep backfiring on everybody. So um, the main character, Laurie Shepard, is trying to investigate with Aunt Dimity's help to find out who is behind the uh, wishes coming true. So it's been really cute so far. I'm about 75% through the book, so I will find out who the culprit is pretty soon. I have no idea who it is at this point. So that is what I am reading, and if you were interested in checking out that series, I will put a link to it down in my Amazon affiliate link. If you go over there, it'll say Cozy Mysteries, and you can click on that, and you can see what I like to read, and you can check out some of those for yourself if you want to. Wednesday's video, if you missed, I just had yarn tumble off of my table. If you missed the giveaway video, which was two weeks ago, this, well, a week and a half ago at this point, I am doing a giveaway. This is from a company named Tamu, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, they gave me some items for free that I could check out, and I decided I was going to do a giveaway with some of those to pass them on to you. If you missed that video and you want to enter, because Wednesday is when I will be announcing the winners, you can click the link right here. That's that little letter I, and that will take you over to that video so you can get entered on that video. Because you can't enter on this one, it's just specifically on that video. And I will also put a link to it at the end of, of this video. I will put a little box up so you can enter there. But here's what you could win. You could win a whole bunch, a full set, I think I counted 11. I think there's 11. I don't know. I might be wrong there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A set of 8. I'm sorry. A full set of 8 double pointed needles. And there are 5 per size. So, yeah. Double pointed needle set. That's, that is going to be the first set. Our first option for winning. The next one, and we will be giving away all three of these, is aluminum hooks. These are your average sizes and these are like doily size. So we have that and they come in a little case. And then the third option is a kit which has a bunch of those little needles in it, a bunch of other little notions and goodies, and a set of ergonomic hooks. These are like a hard plastic. They're not rubber, but they are like a, they're semi-rubberized, but they're, they're not like clovers. They just look like clovers. So we have those. So make sure you go over if you haven't already. Check out that video and uh, find out how to get entered. And I will be doing the giveaway for that on Wednesday. 
Now we are only 13, as of, as of filming this, we are only 13 people away from doing our next giveaway, which every time I hit 100 new viewers, I do a giveaway. So, um, and it's usually yarn. So uh, be watching if you haven't already. Uh, click that like and that subscribe button down below. And if you click the notifications bell, then click all. That'll let you know anytime I post a video, um, which is Saturdays and Wednesdays and whenever I run into a really good yarn sale. So you might want to check out those. And um, if you if you watched my life update this past week, I talked about a new channel that I'm going to be, I'm putting it together now. It's going to be coming out in the next couple of months or so, somewhere around there. And um, I am doing some upgrades. The lighting that you're seeing is some of the upgrades. You'll also see a few other, if you watched closely the show and tell video, you saw a little upgrade in the show and tell um, little icon thing that says show and tell. That's a little updated and I'm going to be redoing the end, the uh, intro and things like that. So I'm going to be fooling around with this channel a little bit too and just playing a little bit. Since I'm home right now, I have time to do that. I'm off for three months uh, with the knee. So I'm, I'm having fun doing a little experimenting. So uh, yeah, be watching for all these different little changes and I will let you know ahead of time when the new channel is going to get ready to launch and that is going to be all about organizing and cleaning and downsizing and all that kind of good stuff um, because once I retire, I, I'm going to go by the go through the house like room by room and drawer by drawer and I'm going to take you guys along with me and we're going to do some organizing. So I'm um, making plans for that now. So someone did recently point out a new channel uh, out to me. It is called Judy's Creations in Crochet. Um, if you want to go over and check it out, you could. I'm sure she'd appreciate it if you found, uh, checked out her channel and subscribed. If you want to look, I'll just put a link down below in the description box to make it a little easier for you if you want to go over and check out her channel. Now it's time for... Now in our come and get it section, Katrina has been naughty. I have been home a little too much maybe and been spending a little bit too much. I like mini skeins as you can tell from this and some of the other th scarves and things I've made with mini skeins. And I'm really in the mood to make another mitered square blanket. Do I need another mitered square blanket? No, I have two of them that I have made. And I have a scrappy crochet blanket that I've made, but they're just fun and I'm just in the mood to make another mitered square blanket. So I also did, I, 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 I bought a few things, like a lot of few things. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready actually for, for this next, this next year. If you remember the other week, I showed you this bag here, which I'm not opening because I'm trying to not remember what's in here. Uh, this is going to be, it's 10, 10 gram mini skeins that I bought from an Etsy shop that are going to be um, for Christmas in July. I'm going to do a 10 day uh, during the Christmas in July fairies giveaway. I'm going to be opening one of those each day. So that is what that is for. But then I needed something for next year, for the, well, not next year's, this year's upcoming in December yarn advent calendar. I already bought 25 of one thing, not mini skeins. It is fiber related, but that that's going to be, we're going to have two, two advent calendars this year to go through. So have some of that. That's already been bought. But then I, I was in the mood for some more mini skeins. So I bought some of those from an Etsy shop and they're on their way being delivered. And then today I was, I was over at Knit Picks. They sent, you know, let me know what their sales are. And this isn't necessarily a sale, but it's a really good deal. So I bought two of them and that is for $19.99, so one penny short of 20 bucks you get a five mini skein bundle and each of the skeins are 20 grams. So for $20, you are getting a full, it'll come out to a full skein of yarn, a full yarn, full skein of yarns worth of yarn. It'll be a hundred grams of yarn. 
but they're all, they look hand dyed. They're not, but they're made to look like they're hand dyed. So they're really pretty and you can pick like the yarn, the, the color collection that you want it from. So I bought two different ones of that in some different colors and stuff that I'm going to get started on the little scrappy blanket. I also have some leftovers from projects that I'm going to be using in the scrappy blanket. And then I also, while I was there, they sell blank mini skeins that are 10 grams and you can pick out the, the yarn weight, you can pick out the fiber content, all that kind of stuff for $1.50. That's super cheap. So I ordered five of those because the ones that are plain like that, I'm I'm going to die. So I, I'm home during the day right now for the next three months. So I'll film that when I get around to playing with the dye bottle and dyeing some of the yarn up. But I bought five little mini skeins. And like I said, they're only $1.50 a piece. So you can buy an entire skein worth of yarn. Actually, you can buy the whole skein if you just want to dye one whole skein. You can do that too. It's in their clearance section. So this is knit picks is where I'm telling you all this. It's in their clearance section and it's in their, it's bare yarns and it's all different types. Like I said, you pick out the fiber content. You can pick out whether you want a mini skein or if you want a full sized skein and you can play with dye for yourself. Or if you just want plain yarn, you can do that too. So um, anyway, yeah, I bought two of the yarn bundles plus five of the mini skeins. That was this morning's purchase. They also have 20% off of their Shine brand yarns for February. So that's the brand. Every month they highlight one of their brands that they cover and they offer 20% off so you can give it a try. So that is Knit Picks. All of the links that I'm telling you about are down below in the description box. So that is Knit Picks. Then there's Lion Brand and Lion Brand is running a sale until the 13th. Uh, so you're watching this on the 11th, so it ends on Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. No coupon code needed. It is 55% off of select yarns. So you do need to click through the link down below in order to find out which yarns are included in that. If you just go over to their site, um, you have to do some extra clicking to get to it. I just made it easy and put it in the right spot so you can just go right to it. They had, I saw some shawl in a ball over there. I saw uh, Pound of Love. Pound of Love came out with the 57% off for $6.01, which is really, really cheap for a lot of yarn. So if you like to make things for craft fairs, that's a good deal right there. Or if you want to buy something to make afghans out of, Pound of Love is a really good one. You can get almost a full afghan out of it. So, um, or two small sized crocheted shawls out of one, one skein of the Pound of Love. So that is Lion Brand. Like I said, that sale run, runs until Monday at 9 a.m. So those are the sales that I am aware of at this point. If I run across more, I will let you know. Um, don't forget to, like I said, go over and enter into the giveaway and make sure you watch on Wednesday to see if you are one of the lucky winners for one of the three prizes. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again to all of you who have reached out to me to see how I'm doing. And I really appreciate that. And I consider you guys my friends, not just my YouTube subscribers. So I, I really do enjoy it and it meant a lot to me. So I will see you again on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.